Hello, and welcome to some more Tesla news. This is Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip. All right, so Elon just tweeted out that you should really go try out Drive On Nav if you have a Tesla that's made in the last two years. And I have one of those Teslas and access to another one. <laughs> Uh, but I don't have the update. I haven't got the update yet, and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, and I've been waiting, but apparently they're they're rolling out the the maps in waves, and I, I've got the actual update that should have Drive on Nav, but I haven't got the, I guess, the updated maps that are required for it. I also don't have a freeway access. My nearest freeway is two hours away, so <laughs> even if I got it, I won't be able to use it until I go on a trip. Uh, hopefully later this month I'll be able to give it a shot and report back how it works. Anyways, the big news is that Elon says they're already testing traffic lights, stop signs, and roundabouts in the development software, and the Tesla will soon be able to go from your garage at your home to a parking lot at work with no driver input at all. So this is kind of what, yeah. You know, I mean, I guess this is what they've been talking about forever. You ha this requires the full self-driving package. So you're going to have to have paid for that on any of these Teslas that have been sold in the last two years or get it added. It's going to be a simple module they're going to replace um, sometime next year. And it's about a 10 times processing power upgrade from the current NVIDIA board to this Tesla board. And that's what's going to enable the extra neural nets that are going to be able to detect a lot of things that the current one just can't do as well. One of the things is they're increasing the frame rate significantly and the ability to do full resolution on all the cameras and the color channels. So really exciting. People are kind of posting all over the internet about it right now and I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they've been talking about it. And this has kind of been their plan all along. It's been pushed out a little bit longer than they had originally anticipated. Uh, this, this looks like uh, 2019 is going to be the year that we're going to really see some significant advancement and full self-driving capabilities from Tesla, uh, if not other companies as well. Waymo's out there uh, giving rides right right now. So <laughs> pretty, pretty exciting stuff. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Do you think Tesla's actually going to do their cross-country drive um, next year without you know any user input? Uh, <laughs> and then what level of autonomy are we really going to see? Like, I don't expect a, being able to sleep in the back seat next year but the car will be like the current version of autopilot that requires that you, you know, confirm certain things that you'd be ready to take over at any moment, but by far and away an extremely advanced version of cruise control that literally does everything for you. Um, and even the, based on the navigation, it's just exciting. <laughs> what do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> if you see me shivering, you can, I don't know if you can see my breath, but it is, it was minus 10 outside and uh, the place where I'm at I got it up to a nice toasty 20 degrees which is still freezing <laughs> Tesla noted that he'd be interested in buying some of the GM factories that might may be shutting down here in the next uh, few months which would be great because they need somewhere to make the model Y and the truck and the semi Tesla pushed out an update to the phone app that allows you to search for charging locations close to you uh, which is something you could always do in the car, but it's nice that you can do it in the phone and then send it to the car. So if you're, you know, out some place foreign to you and traveling, you can be, you know, searching on your phone while you're eating or whatever and looking, or if you're a passenger and who, you know, just it's cool that it's added into the app. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Please subscribe. It lets me know that you're watching. I'm really close to getting 10,000 subscribers on this channel and it'd be super helpful. Um, I'm looking into the possibility of going to CES again this year. It looks like a lot of electric vehicles are going to be showcased from different manufacturers. Yeah, even if I don't attend, I'll be reporting on it. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.